Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Wayne Charvel guitars. Now you've heard the name Charvel, we know that, but have you heard the name Wayne Charvel? Let's talk about this for a second. Now first I just want to give a shout out. My buddy Benny uh, just bought this guitar and he brought it in for a setup. I did the setup and we took the JB out and put a Wolfgang in there. And, uh, and I asked him very nicely if I could use this guitar for review and he agreed, so thank you Benny for that. And let's talk about this guitar because it's got an interesting story behind it. And here's how it goes. So Charvel, Wayne Charvel started Charvel in the 70s, early 70s. And he was modding guitars. He was a repair guy and he was modding guitars uh, and doing all kinds of mods and then started making parts. Now Grover Jackson pops in the scene and he basically tells Wayne, hey, I can, I can get business going for you. I can bolster the business a little bit. I can get it going. And they get partnered somehow um, in that reference. Now this is not the main part of the story, so we'll skip a little fast. Then we're gonna get to the important part, which is about 1978. In 1978, Grover buys Wayne out, is what my understanding is. So Grover took over the company from that point forward. Now what happens coincidentally is just a few years later, 1980, you have Randy Rhodes popping in the shop saying, hey, I like a guitar that looks like a shark. It's uh, Grover's very first neck through body guitar and he makes it. Now, out of fear of ruining the name that he just invested all his time and money into, they put the Jackson name on that guitar because they were afraid it was so ugly that it would ruin the Charvel name. Now that's a speculation. There's no uh, confirmation of that other than stories I've heard over the years. Um, some of the stories say that it was just time to start a new company and that's what he decided the first guitar to be since he had the guitar player from Ozzy. Either way, the importance is that's the first Jackson. And then, as we all know, then Jackson was born and then you had Jackson and Charvel. And that did continue on for many, many years until 2002 when Fender took over. They bought the company from Grover. Now, Grover has now started off his own company called Grover Jackson and Wayne has his own company called Wayne Charvel. And they essentially make guitars that are reminiscent to the original ones they made. This is a fantastic specimen of a recreation of an 80 Charvel. Single pickup, it's got a German Floyd Rose, a two-piece ash body, maple neck, although he's improved it just like Fender and put the better truss rod in there instead of making you take off the neck. So that's a kudos to him. This one has a maple fretboard, but with a walnut neck with maple skunk stripe. Look at that, beautiful walnut. Grover, or sorry, Godo tuning keys, which are made in Japan, signed by Wayne himself. Made by, I think, him and his sons. Uh, my understanding is the shop is very small and they're all made to order uh, by them. The uh, guitar uh, normally will come with JB, but like I said, we switched it to a Wolfgang pickup. The important part of this guitar is to note is that the neck is exactly how you would remember the old Charvel necks. Very thin and flat um, with a very flat fretboard with jumbo frets. Definitely the Charvel vibe, for sure. It's a fantastic instrument. And I thought it would be cool to show it to you since like I said, you don't get to see guitars like this. Look at that fretboard. It's just, what's nice is you can tell they really took time to pick really good pieces of wood, right? I mean, even the ash, right? No filler, no spots, no, no knots. Even the graining looks like it was laid out like they actually sat the pieces of wood out and shifted them and made sure this is the best best aesthetically placed like look in the back see just i like this little added carve right now to get your hand in there look at that that's that's a really cool upgrade charvel they want to take a note from that um playing the american charvels and this um they're on par with each other i mean <laughs> I like this neck a little bit better. It's a little thinner. The Fender uh, era Charvels have a little bit rounder neck. Um, 
which I also like for different reasons, but this is just, this makes me feel like it's just the old 80s uh, Charvel instead of the kind of a newer modern Charvel. Sounds great. One trick, pick up, volume knob, and go. That's just great. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? All right, guys. Thank you again for your time and checking out this cool guitar for me. Like I said, this is a Wayne Charvel. You can check out their website. I'll put the link down below so you can see. And you can understand now that Wayne Charvel isn't associated with Charvel from Fender anymore, but it still is making fantastic guitars. As always, thank you guys for buying the shirts and sending in pictures. Uh, the montages are coming along great. You guys are doing some cool pictures. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in doing that as well, check the link below, buy a t-shirt take a picture, send it to me. It's that simple. As always, thank you for your time and know your gear.